Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a love situation to see where you are. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six. I mean, I have my back because I have yours. All right, let's see what love situation you have going on. This can be relationship situationships. Um, it can be work. It can be anything. But it's about how you feel about love or how you are dealing with love or what you're dealing with with love, shall we say, opposites. Differences creating barriers. Love versus love and strife. Love versus ego. Opposing, two opposing forces. So the opposites. That is what's happening. And it's gotten you paralyzed at some point. Not not literally, but mentally paralyzed. Uh, and it says, paralyzed by love, holding back, fear of falling in love. So somebody who opposites attract, they have a fear of falling in love. And you are basically um, dealing with that type of energy. I'm going to pull from, I can't think of the name of this card deck, but this is like basically a confession, like confessions from your person or from you on how you feel to see what comes out. Um, yeah, you guys, I can't stress enough to please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video, red heart, you made it through, purple hearts, it resonates, green heart, you're working on it, yellow heart, you're rocking me, got my six, I said that, right? Anyway, you've been very mys mysterious, uh, it's been hard to read you, but it keeps me intrigued, I want to continue to learn more about you, so this is a paralyzed energy, this is like somebody who you have control over but they are afraid to move forward because you guys are so opposite you like to stay home they like to go out they like the limelight you don't you know those types of things they like to all the attention you could care less about the attention you know what it feels like it's just too much for you to have to grasp or hold or be a part of i'm behaving strangely because i'm hiding something from you i don't want you to find out so this is a case of somebody is the opposite of you you guys have this mutual attraction however this person is afraid to uh, move forward so they play childish games they don't talk to you and tell you the truth and so basically the only thing that you left to do is to keep trusting in your intuition and using your intuition to move forward i don't remember the name of this card deck but um i've never used it before and we're going to use that i i just kind of were moving my cards around and saw that I had it back here in my drawers and um yeah I like the energy that it brought it was like a wholesome farmy type of energy yeah page of cups energy so with this if it comes in reverse I um wouldn't know because all of the court cards are sideways yeah trust and the page of cups energy page of cups energy is uh let your imagination run wild imagination is the fuel of dreams and the dreams uh that fuel the creation but the page of uh cups can also uh, set for you know being creative but it's synchronicity so the synchronicities are there you can see what they are this is a um, situation to where you can kind of uh, have you know kind of let your curiosity flow when it comes to the opposites you guys paralyze each other because you're willing to uh, take a risk and be creative in regards to how you view love you see all those cards fell out bottom of the deck is the queen of swords yeah see the queen of swords has been showing her face because at some point you can't play chess because you got to play chess and that is what is going on she the queen of swords energy yeah has to understand if this is somebody who will be able to lead and take a risk but the ten of swords can also let you know that there's going to be a lot of struggle and a lot of anxiety here here's a farmer trying to grow something but there is seeds there they're planting the seeds but at some point the crops aren't growing and this is the same farmer here king of wands that can be able to lead uh i, I was thinking i said something different but the king of wands to be able to lead but at the same time be able to see the bigger picture but are they going to be able to overcome the challenges and the challenges can be anything from um ten of swords when it says you know you basically have to um, you know, ha you know, face some misfortune in order for you to understand if this is something that you'll be able to stand the test of time. But this is you wanting to see if this is something that you are able to deal with, train with, or magician be able to manifest something different. I'll put that right here to be able to manifest something different because this energy here is scary when it comes to you know t uh, changing and 
uh, basically uh, putting all your cards on the table, if that makes sense. And the Knight of Pentacles um, basically lets you know that you got to do the work. Knight of Pentacles says you can't get the results without first showing up, doing the work. Wait a minute. You can't get the results without first showing up, um, without first doing the work, showing up, working hard, and keep pushing every day. So no matter how the, and, and see, this is the thing that people don't really understand about cancers. We are able to show up every day and do the work, no matter how much opposites or how much aversion or how much, did I say that right? Aversion, a adversity, sorry, is uh, against us. No matter if it's love, matter a job or certain situations, we're able to show up and do the work. And we always see the potential in everything because that's our strengths. And that's what we have to recognize our strengths. That's our nurturing energy. The strength energy says, um, where is it at? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And these are the sayings. Oh, strength is not always physical. Your patience, compassion, and gentle spirit is what makes you uh, strong, not the sharpness of your words. So we recognize our strengths, and sometimes we have to use our words. That's why the Queen of Swords shows up, because people take our kindness for a weakness. And so even though we're able to go with the flow, will of fortune energy, this is a, um, this is a, um, you know, a, the, the, I can't think of what it is, but it creates electricity depending on how you are able to do it. But it also gets the water to go through. Um, there is a YouTube that I watch. I like watch a lot of off grid YouTubes because that's one that's one of my dreams uh, is to go off grid. But you got to do the work. Right. So uh, in order for you tonight, of swords energy. But in order uh, uh, there is let me go back to YouTube. The YouTube channel is I think it's DL, Diego knows it all or Diego. It's called Diego, but anyway, he helped an old a, a guy named Al. He's the older guy. Al, he's the older guy. He helped him um, fix his his thing here. He's been living off grid for like seventy something years or whatever, a long time, and basically he came and he helped him. So strength again. That's why I say that it's kind of crazy that this is here, even though this is something that you you see that you want it done. You got to be able to know if you're going to be able to go off grid to live this way. To, to, to face the downfalls to, and it's not just necessarily off grid, to be able to manifest the things, to be able to do things in any relationship, situationship, especially when opposites are there. And it's like, you know, um, when people keep things from you or you have to play chess and not checkers, you want to just play games and love and love and laugh and do all these things. But when it comes to you having to be analytical and kind of think about things and somebody, you know, using your intuition that somebody is keeping something from you. Well, that's when we get into our queen of swords bag and the queen of swords says, um, do, 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 do. stand up for yourself always speak your mind don't take shit from anyone and this is always know that you have the cap capability of winning when it comes to certain situations but you have to look at the bigger picture and that is where the king of wands shows his face because the clarity has to be there you have to have king of swords energy to be able to have the clarity but you also have to be able to see the big picture and see if you're going to be able to overcome the challenges right now the challenges is secrets and opposite opposition you know you being opposite from what you you know, deem to be something normal. And that's the thing that it's hard for you to do. Page of Cups energy is what we're clarifying. Yeah. So the Page of Cups comes with a fool. So, um, yeah, two of swords, being able to trust in the situation, two of swords, and also two of wands energy to make a decision when you know that it could it could come and bite you in the ass because the Page of Swords, it's tough decisions as you weigh in options and avoiding, um, you know, certain situations. But the two of wands is... Uh, you know, you making decisions, maybe leaving and planning to do something different. And so that's the reason why in this card, a page of cups energy, the reflection is there, but you have to be able to take that leap to see if this is worth you doing, especially maybe in the past, there were lies, there were high, there were secrets, there were things that you had to basically use your intuition to answer. And sometimes when we use our intuition, we kind of know what the issue is and we're able to kind of stand the test of time and kind of be patient and when it comes to a person and that is where the opposite energy is you want to just be loved and to be understanding but some people aren't like that some people recognize your strengths and want you to do all the work and therefore want you to go with the flow and that's not what it is that you want out of a love situation or out of any situation you want to be able to manifest but as a cohesive unit because if you're not doing that then you're able to manifest yourself by yourself the king of wands energy Again, King of Wands is somebody who 
um, you know, can see a bigger picture. And the bigger picture comes with Ace of Wands, having the courage to be able to step out on faith and do the things that you want. Ace of Wands energy can also be able to have the willpower and go after your desires and to be able to create things based upon your inspiration and things that you see potential in. But sometimes, you know, potential can have you fucked up. Oh, sorry, excuse my language. But potential is where you see uh, in the future, oh, we can have these bright roses, things like that. But there's somebody there that's not doing the work. So we have the Ten of Swords energy, which brings you back to where you are um, basically seeing a painful ending um, and basically having deep wounds when it comes to somebody betraying you. And so that's where the, or things not working the way that you thought they were, which is what's happening here. This person was, um, planting seeds and trying to see that their harvest would be this way and be that way. And basically it didn't work out the way it wanted to. So it causes a lot of situations to where you have to look at before you take that leap and see in the bigger picture, um, which is, uh, the star energy being optimistic that things will work out. Star energy says, um, where is it at? No matter what the situation you find yourself in, there is always hope. Have faith, be optimistic, and focus on self-care. So this is where you have to come in and care for yourself and be able to manifest things when things might not work out in this situation because of certain things that are held back from you. Magician energy to be able to manifest something different, to be able to manifest change, to be able to know basically that, you know, uh, Eight of Wands energy. Yeah, you have to walk away sometimes from the things that no longer serve you. Eight of Wands energy is also you understanding that, you know, sometimes when people come into your life, they're here to teach you a lesson and not everything is um, going to stay. And so if you look in this card uh, deck and I'll, I'll pull this. Oh, you couldn't see this card. It's a hold on. It's a card that stayed back. You can't see because it's right there. There it is. But if you look in here, um, all the wands and all of the uh what is this brooms and everything is leaving in the uh, throughout the window. And so again, walking away, uh, even though you were able to manifest greatness, you know, or trying to manifest greatness, yeah, movement, you have to move away from the things that no longer serve you because sometimes it's like a cre differences creating barriers and it's love versus, versus ego. So your idea might not be good enough for them, even though they know it is, it just might outdo them. And it might be just the fact of, it's love and strife that somebody is not willing to grow with you and keep things from you, which keeps you paralyzed and stagnant and it keeps things from flourishing. And so that's when you have to make a decision to do the work. Knight of Pentacles energy. The Knight of Pentacles says, yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles. Yep. Um, so the Knight of Pentacles, uh, basically, let me show you this card. I like this card. The Knight of Pentacles uh, basically says uh, you where is it at oh you can't get the results without first doing the work show or show without doing the work show up work hard and keep pushing every day even though you know adversity is here even though you can't see basically what it is that you you know the ver the vision that you had and all of the strife and things that you had to go through you still have to do the work you have to do the work ten of pentacles ten years it might take you to see some type of growth or advancement and that might be after the fact that you walked away from certain situations. So you have to take those leaps, recognize your strengths. Strength isn't always physical. The patience, your patience, compassion, and gentle spirit is what keeps you strong, uh, makes you strong, not the sharpness of your words. Sometimes you, it's silence is the best thing that you can do, but sometimes it's not enough. To When you recognize your strengths and know that you are nurturing situations, you have to understand that there's going to be insecurities there are going to be adversities but you still have to work through those energies there's going to be gossip there's going to be all these different things and that's going to keep you try to keep you down but you have to be able to look at the bigger picture and see what it is there's going to be all types of things you know people are getting in the way you getting in your own way your strategies that you came up with the the things that you wanted to create might um, cause you to want to give up, but you have to recognize your strengths in certain situations. So even though opposites attract, and even though you want this and you might be paralyzed by something, it says you're mysterious. They might think you're mysterious and they might think that you're playing games and they're still playing games. They think you're playing games because you, they are playing games basically and keeping things from you. Will of fortune, the ebb and flows of life, going with the flow. Sometimes you just can't go with the flow and you have to recognize your insecurities and the things that happens. And, you know, it, it's just like it's a hard pill to swallow. And so with the will of fortune being here, the card flew out. Yeah, three of swords energy. 
it's going to, you know, the ebb and flows of life and not being able to really stand up for yourself and set boundaries causes a lot of adversity. It causes you to have heartbreak through your sword's energy. You know, it's a, you know, it's an emotional roller coaster and you can turn out to be hurt at some point because even though you have the swords, you have the magic, you have all the knowledge and everything, everything doesn't work out. It can be abrupt endings. And that's when going with the flow kind of bites you in the butt. And that's the reason why you have to be able to look and see that if this is uh, worth you doing, if you can overcome any challenges that may face, if you go out and you buy this land or you go out and do these, there's going to be rainy days, there are going to be snowy days, there are going to be all these type of days that's going to cause you uh, pain and, and, and to question why you do it, did it and also to want you to walk away from certain situations. But you have to be the knight of swords and be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single-minded determination. So if this is what you truly want, you truly want to set out and and to do the things that you you're passionate about or to wait and be still you know and know that things aren't happening the way that you want them to nine of swords energy is anxiety and um it also is you know you 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 being depressed this has to, you still have to show up and do the work so again uh, be tough be ambitious know what you want go after it in a single-minded determination keep going keep going keep going and there is going to be days that you want to give up but there's going to be days that you know uh you're you, you know you you're you have unbiased judgment you set the clear boundaries and you're very direct but that's what it takes in order for you not to be paralyzed by you know other people's actions and also by the things that may not work the way that you saw them uh the you know, with the potential that you saw it to be. Sometimes you just have to walk away. And that's just uh, basically that. And so with the Knight of Swords energy, we're going to clarify, you know, the Knight. Okay, so a card, what is that? The King of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, it's on the floor, but I'll pull these over in a minute. Hold on. Okay. The King of Cups in the reverse. So, okay, the King of Cups in the reverse. Just to let you know that the there's going to be a lot of emotional manipulation there. There's a lot of moodiness when it comes to things not working the way that you want them to be. And this is something that you're just going to have to deal with. Bottom of the deck is Seven of Cups. You have options just like everyone else. You can you can hold them. You can fold them. You can stay. You 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 can you know choose to keep secrets. You can do all these things, or you can just be you. Uh, especially when it comes to the Ten of Swords. Yeah, feeling like somebody has stabbed you in the back. So the King of Cups energy being in the reverse again lets you know that the the coldness and everything in this situation and somebody feeling like you know you feeling like you being stabbed in the back or you feel like you know you were betrayed or there's you know, wounds that you need to take care of comes with the King of Swords energy. So the Queen of, King of Swords and the Queen of Swords is here. The King of Swords energy in the upright is just letting you know that the mental clarity that's there, you know, there's power there, there's truth, there's intellectual energy there. But at some point, you know, you have to be able to have the clarity that um, you can do the work. And that's the reason why each king is opposite of the of each other and the chariot energy is movement you got to keep moving even though somebody feels some type of way in order for you to have your cake and eat it too these are the ebb and flows of life and sometimes they don't work out the way that we expect them to but at the same time you just have to keep going going and going you have options you can take it easy in life or you can push forward to the things that you really want but you know and go after your dreams but those comes with the, that comes with a lot of adversity and you know sometimes we get paralyzed or being hangman energy because it's not the way that we want it to be or things aren't working out so you have to be able to figure out those days that you know you feel like you want to give up or that you it's not worth it anymore you have to really figure out your why and that's one thing that it it might be hard to do but that's the things that happen when you you turn around and you decide to go after what you want and so um yeah i think that was a really good read i was trying to see what card deck if there was another card deck that i want to pull from yeah i'll pull from um the fortune teller you need you need some luck in your life you need to be able to see or to hear something good so let's pull your fortune i'll pull two of them for you Oh, look at all those that came out. Um, well, I'll look at that. Your luck will change. So just understand that no matter what you go through, 
Your luck will always change the first card that come out. It's time to move on. It's time to move on. And so move on from feeling sad for yourself. Um, hold on. Let me do it like this. Find what is lost. Find what is lost. Um, and that may be something to, to you or towards you or something that can resonate. And knowledge is power. So, again, look at this. Even though you feel some type of way, you're still learning. You're still you're still trying, even though it's heartbreak and all adversity and you feel some type of way. You haven't given up all the way. You're still trying to figure out the best way to do things, and that is the only way. And it says things will heat up. And so things will start to change when you just start pushing forward and towards the stuff that you want and go from there. I don't know if that's something that somebody needed to hear, but that is a really good message. I'm going to pull from here. When I um, first started to uh, do my, I would, I would do daily readings of inspiration uh, with these card decks and my big tarot. And I think that's what you need right now. Authenticity is one card that tried to come out, but it didn't shine try to show its face <clears throat> all right so a lot of cards came out and at the bottom of the deck okay it's breathe is here is at the front of the deck the bottom of the deck it says a long walk is good for the soul get outside and allow mother nature to lift your spirit so maybe that's a message that somebody needs to hear allow mother nature to lift your spirits authenticity is here Live life for you, not the audience in your head. So that is a good thing. Live life for you and not the audience in your head because, again, you can constantly psych yourself out of things to where that audience in your head or the people in places and situations around you can cause you to be stagnant. And then it says release. It says release. It says sometimes the best way to grow is to simply let go. And that's what the universe is telling you. In order for you to grow, you have to release the negativity, walk away from the things. In order for you to manifest here, magician energy, and to create your own story, you have to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. And that's movement twice when it comes to the magician energy. You have to release optimism. You have to be optimistic. Star energy came out somewhere around here. If you're going to make up stories, if you're in your head about people and circumstances, please make them love stories with happy endings. So the happy ending can happen. You just have to send strength and healing period to a person, place, thing, or situation that you feel may have wronged you. And you just have to move forward. Self-worth. And then it, on the cake, it says self-love. It says, why settle for crumbs when you deserve a whole meal? Why settle for, for crumbs when you deserve a whole meal? And then passion. You have to go up to your passions. Light up your life by honoring your deepest desires. And that is why things will heat up because you will start going after the things that you want and not letting things stop you. And at the end of the day, taking the leaps and understanding that life brings turmoils and life brings challenges. You can either, oh, my, oh, Rafiki says, you can either run from it or you can learn from it. The past causes fear and the future causes anxiety and the present moment is where you need to be. So you can run from it or you can learn from it. But things will heat up and things will, your luck will change if you just learn to go after your passion, understand your self-work, be optimistic and release the negativity, but also be authentic and know that those, those, those uh, things that talk you out of in your head that talks you out of, oh, okay, should I stay and, and, and be stagnant or the things that you know that you need to change, you need to stop listening to them. So now I'm going to pull from the four agreements and the crystal deck to see what comes out. Assume nothing. Don't make assumptions. And the kuzanite. So the heart chakra sends strength and healing. So we have assume nothing. Don't make assumptions. It says any, in any kind of relationship, we can assume that others know what we think and we don't have that have to say what we what we want. We assume that they are going to just going to to do what we want because they know us well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt and think, how could uh, you do that? You should have known. And nobody will know unless you speak your mind and say what say what say it say what it is that you want out of life and out of a situation. And also, if things don't work out, you have to send strength and healing to a person, place, thing, or a situation because that is why, you know, a lot of people um, get to this situation 
because they are not clear with the things that they want. So the kuzanite is here. I have the kuzanite somewhere. I want to say that's it right there, but I don't think it's somewhere here or it's on my desk behind me. Um, a heart chakra, unconditional love, contemplation, and introspection. I release outer influences and am filled with divine love. I release outer influences and am uh, and am filled with divine love. And that's that. All right, you guys. And that's moving forward. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys.